friends this is the smart xlr in this video i'm going to show you how to use the power of your depth mail and formulas and in the previous video i showed you how to use a fuel cell thing in for indicating one set so i showed you how to how we get difficulty in selecting the methods but in this video i'll be showing you how to use this in a different format in very easy way you can select so if you get four items, it's, it will be like you will keep on selecting each and on. Now you'll be, if you go, if you go into the mini category, you will be selecting each item according to what is required. But if you have a very big list, and selecting one by one and one by one is going to be a painful task. So please refer to my previous video before watching this. So the same thing like FSCT fuel, solid cleaning, and parking ticket. How we can do in different methods. And I showed you the design and how to get this in the power pivot. So this is like when you are going to insert and when you do a pivot table, when you add this to a data model, it will be added and it will be shown in the power pivot manage table. And once this is done, you can see in the design field how the things are being changed. So if I uh, will be showing insert, go to pivot table, and you have to select this. And add this to the data model and it will be a new sheet and it will be okay. So you got the data fields. Now again as I showed in the last video if you want to get things done how how you can go in main mini category and you have to keep keep on selecting the things one by one. So just and I showed you how we can get the things here and you can see you can see that these fields have been closed now. You can see these fields have been opened now. So when I do uh, manage set, okay. If you want to, if you want to see how to get these things on board, first you have to bring certain elements on the table like amount, actual amount, budgeted amount, and the dates. So you can remove this, and you can have only months, or you can just have. Uh, normal, normal, you can just have values, and now you can see that when you select this, you will be selecting a create based on rows and create based on columns. So, I'll be showing you how in the uh, next coming videos how to get these things on board. So, now if you want to manage sets, so what we'll be doing is you should know how to use the DAX formula. So, I'll be showing you how. So, there is no set, so we'll be creating one. So, I'll be creating using an MDX formula because. There is no set over here, so we can use direct formula and create set based on row items is the same as it is, which is here. So it, it will be the same thing, which is here. So if you go to manage set, you can go new and you can do create using MDX formulas. So in this form, we should know how to use the docs functionings. So if I want to get things on board, so if you mean category, I have things, so I can I have a set of things in the excel sheet so i can pull and push so it is an easy way so it's very very time uh, it's just it will save a lot of time so it's time efficient so you can just do it you can pull over here and you can see the text the index formulas so the syntax formula is working fine so what i'll be doing if i'll be adding something else so if i want to have a, a fuel test and if i want to have a cleaning so i'll be going and i'll be adding and now when I do test MDX, it is giving me an error because you should know how to use this MDX DAX formulas. If you just keep on adding, it is not going to take this things. So, so whatever I do, if I add all those, it will be giving an error unless and until you know how to use this. The four elements I require, but these are not in a proper proper formatic type. So this is giving an error. So let me give you a brief of how to use this thing. So in detail, I can tell you this. This is the the data should be this this way, this way. So this is the how you can use the DAX formula. But it's really complicated. If you want to type each and everything, you should be a very good software background, or you should know how to use the formula very well. So, but in a simple form, if you want, you can say that this is how you can use it. So it is like open the flower bracket, then open the parenthesis. So this will be one set. So this parenthesis to this and this will be one set, and this will be the data inside this square bracket. And the comma will be a separator. Again, this will be another set. And this closing the flower bracket will be 
completing the set. So let's go again. And now I'll be going to analyze manage set. So here, here I'll be showing you how to do that in a better way. So it will be like a new create using that formula. And I'll be going to mini category. So before going to mini category, what I'll be doing is I'll be already adding a flower packet in the beginning. So this will be my so this will be my flower packet. And then I'll be adding the parent uh, I'll be opening up I'll be opening up opening a parenthesis. So here then I'll be doing this. I will be adding this here. So you can see already there is a, uh, a square bracket and this is like maths uh, theory to you, you, you are studying in the college or high school that how to use the maths theories and all. So now I need a separator. So before closing this, I will be closing this set with a close parenthesis and I will be putting a comma. Again, if I want to have a new, I will be opening a close bracket and then I will be adding a next part and I will be very careful if you select the data if you select it over here and all <laughs> it will give you an error so this is a new set so I will be closing this set and again comma so it's if in the beginning it's just time consuming but once you are habitual to this you can do it very fast so on, it's unless it's in your sub, it's submerged in your subconscious mind so if you have to put the cursor here and we'll be adding it here but okay I forgot to put the parenthesis so this is the parenthesis and we're closing the parenthesis again i'll put in a comma so this is going to be parenthesis closing parenthesis now i don't know if i have missed the parenthesis it is going to give an error so i'll be closing the flower bracket now so if i'll be taking this so the grace of what it is Okay, now I have. Okay, I can edit. I can name it as FSCP. I'll give okay. So now the new set has been created. So you can see the new set. So in the previous video, I showed you how to get select. But here, if you get this set, you don't have to worry. Now this is a fixed one. So you can also remove this and. You can keep on doing things. So this this set is now now it's tension free. Even if you go to some other things, this has been there. So this set will make your life more easy. Anywhere you can use it. You can add it with not right field. So you can just play around with this, and if you can. Okay, in the last video I showed you how to add this field over here. Now if you want to have actual amount minus budgeted amount and as i told you that if you want to have based on row or items if you want to see see the things there's no no much things over here so uh, i'll be showing you in the next video how to use the uh, row based and column based item so this is i hope you got this so i'll be show you this is the way we can select the set and make a dex formula so please remember this this is the way to get the dex formulas this is the main functions so i hope to see you in the next video so i will be showing you more and all those things and i will be showing you the calculations i hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel please like the hit the like button please share this video so many people can get the idea of dex and uh, how to use the set i don't think so there are many videos for on uh, youtube also on this type of data so i have checked it i have made this by studying here and there and a lot of effort was used so i hope you share this and this will be a part of you in your life and uh, thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and we see you in the next video thank you